Would you like a skewer? Is it any good? Why don't you try it out? It's my grandfather's secret recipe. What? But didn't you say you had amnesia? I know everything there is to know about Eifried. I traveled all over researching about him, after all. That's how I figured out Eifried was the one who told me my name was Patty. Eifried told you your name? I. That's my oldest memory. Hmm. Just remembering that fond look makes me feel all warm inside. I don't know whether he's really my grandfather or not. But I feel that he was such an important person to me that I can't help but think that's who he is. I see. Still, it might have been smarter to keep that to yourself. Aye, but... You're used to it, huh? Aye. I don't let small stuff like that bother me. Crying gets you nowhere, was it? But even if you understand that in your head, your emotions aren't necessarily gonna listen. I'm more patient than a camouflaged stone flounder sitting still in a field of stones. Oh yeah? But your info broker turned his back on you too. It's nothing. Things will work out. Tomorrow is another day. What will be, will be. In any case, you need to eat up if you want to cheer up. Mmm. This is good. Didn't I tell ya? So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all. But I learned about some very important things. The child of the full moon, and the Antilochea. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it seems we won't know unless we go and ask him directly. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. After all this, it's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe... Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in that castle... I would have lived without ever knowing about the Child of the Full Moon, or the Antilochea, or any of that. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri... Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situations. They're not real life. And I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. <sighs> if you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. But can you really? Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. You're always out walking around, aren't you? Yes. I guess I'm a pretty restless person. That's unexpected. 
You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Baul all the time. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. Yes. Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? No, must be your imagination. Hey, old man. You can feel free to go on ahead to Nordopolica. Hey there, youngin. What? You want to get rid of me so soon? Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all in our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If Brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of Brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. You sure? Anyway, I ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave myself. If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? In that case, we'd collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. Oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! Anyway, just as long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. No problem. We weren't able to find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. What do you think? Should we go back to Dongrest? That might be best, but would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. All right. This sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Yeah, but even so, I prefer Dongrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. But if we're gonna work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. We could always make someplace new, you know. 
Someplace new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk's city. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Brave Vesperia's own city? Yeah, I like that idea. Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah, now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali's city, isn't it? Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongrist, even. Yeah, and Bellius rules the city, too. Nordopolica, hmm. Leader of a city, Duce of a guild. Wonder what sort of person Bellius is. Glad you could make it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crene and the Weasand of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean, seriously, the Duce! I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is! Bellius? Yeah. Bellius is the Duce of Palastrale, which governs Nordopolica. She's the most important person there. You're friends with someone that amazing, Carol? Huh? Friends? Well, uh... It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantake. Well, that's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know why the Antilochea hate the Child of the Full Moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's gotta be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... attacked by the Antelikea, correct? E yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Antelikea and the Colosseum? I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Antelikea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, we'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Right. First, let's get back to Mantake. What about Patty? If I remember correctly, there were some people in Nordopolica who didn't think too highly of Patty. I'll be fine as long as I don't run into any of them. As soon as I'm out in the open sea, everything will be okay. Then, will you come with us? Aye, that I will. Didn't Bellius only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. Wow, the days just fly by. What's with you all of a sudden? Oh, I've just been thinking about how strong we've grown without even realizing it. That's because we have terrible luck. What does getting stronger have to do with having bad luck? We keep running into one mess after another. The Empire, the Guilds, everybody hates us. So all this bad luck made us fight, and so we got stronger. Is that really luck? It's all right, Carol. 
As we travel, the winds of luck are little by little turning in our favor. Exactly. Luck just flies by too, like the wind. Yuri, you're kind of missing the point. crystal really be used to make a barrier? If they could, and we had enough, we'd be able to make as many barriers as we wanted. Then even areas that suffer frequent monster attacks could be assured safety. Yeah, but if it were possible, wouldn't something like that have happened by now? Maybe it's best not to get our hopes up about it then. Ever the realist, I see. All I'm doing is speculating on the most probable outcome. Actually, I think that's what being a realist means. <laughs> 